Greetings, Eric Becker, naturopath from New Zealand. I've got a question here from a guy in India, and he's saying, Eric, can Helicobacter cause Candida? I think that's how they speak in India. So, Helicobacter pylori, I've done several videos on previously. So, it's a spiral shaped bacteria that loves to live in the stomach. It likes to secrete, you know, uh, chemicals around it to neutralize the stomach acid, and hence it causes lots of burping and bloating and upper GI distress. H. pylori does not cause candida. I'm quite positive of that. But it can create an environment that can allow candida to have the upper hand. Many people with H. pylori, um, particularly if they've been infected or sick for years, end up with lower digestive distress. Many end up with a lot of gas, a lot of bloating, sometimes diarrhea, sometimes constipation. Sometimes they have nausea or queasiness or they vomit, they get sick easily. They can't handle lots of different types of foods. They can't drink alcohol. Uh, they react violently to garlic or spicy foods. So as their digestion slowly goes down, they can become more prone to bacterial problems in the gut. And of course, candida can come along there and really proliferate. Uh, so yeah, they can end up with multiple food allergies and food intolerances. Lots of different things can happen. Problems higher up often eventually will cause problems lower down. I mean, it's common sense, isn't it? So while it doesn't directly cause candida, it can certainly allow candida uh, to get the upper hand and to really take over, that's for sure. So I recommend for helicobacter, I, re I recommend a carbon breath test. So you swallow this little tablet of stuff called urea, and then um, the body uh, you know, will produce, the H. pylori will start secreting enzymes to feed on this and produce gases, which can be, again, determined through blowing into a tube. These gases can be examined, uh, and then the doctor can work out if you've got helicobacter or not. You can do blood testing or stool testing for antibodies, but the breath test, in my opinion, is the best, the best test. And there are many treatments for helicobacter, but first make sure you've got helicobacter. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks for catching up.